And indeed, we found it. But that's a remarkable thing to think about it because it was it's Wigner, one of the great physicists, wrote an essay back in the 60s, I think, called The Unreasonable Effectiveness of Mathematics in the Physical Sciences. And by the unreasonable effectiveness is demonstrated by this discovery because it really is a mathematical prediction. It's like we think there's a new fundamental particle that does the job of giving mass to the other particles. And this is how it does it and this is how it behaves. And this is what it will look like and, and this is what it will do. And then 50 years later, you build the biggest machine ever built, 16 miles in circumference. Most of it's in France, a bit of it's in Switzerland. 10,000 scientists, you, yeah, 150 thing. countries. You, you, you accelerate protons, the nuclei of hydrogen, around this thing at 99.999999% the speed of light. Wow. They go around the 16 miles 11,000 times a second. We can collide 600 million of them together every second to recreate the conditions that were present less than a billionth of a second after the universe began. Photograph it in the biggest digital cameras ever built. The one I work on called Atlas is 40, 40 meters in diameter. Huge, vast, vast thing. 7,000 tons of digital camera in a cavern the side of St. Paul's Cathedral underneath the ground in Switzerland. And you find it. You find this thing <laughs> that, that, that this guy, Peter Higgs, working with many other people, predicted to exist 50 years ago because he did some sums. So it's a real, so it's real. So the universe does behave like that.